بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس السلام علیکم آئی ایم مسز رینا اسلام سبجیکٹ اسپیشلسٹ آف پاکستان اسٹڈیز ایٹ ڈویژن پبلک اسکول اینڈ انٹر کالج صاحب آئی ویلکم یو آل ان ٹو ڈیز آن لائن کلاس ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ہوپ یو ول بی فائن لیٹ اسٹارٹ آر ٹو ڈیز لیسن جیوگرفی چیپٹر نمبر تھری اوشنس اینڈ سیز ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹڈی اباؤٹ اوشین کرنٹس اینڈ کاسز آف اوشین کرنٹس لرننگ آبجیکٹوز آف ٹوڈیز لیسن By the end of the lesson, you will be able to define ocean current, differentiate between warm currents and cold currents with the help of different examples, describe the terms fog and drift, identify the major causes of ocean current circulation and explain them. Now the question is, what is current? When the ocean water moves permanently in a specific direction It is called current. Have you seen over here? The water moves in particular direction permanently. Then we can say this is ocean current. Equator. Equator. You can see equator on the globe. What is equator? The equator is the invisible line that runs around the center of the earth at zero degree latitude. You can see equator on the world map. You can see equator on globe as well as on the map. An equator divides the planet into a northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. There are two types of ocean currents. First one is a warm current. Second is cold currents. Now we are going to study about the warm currents as well as cold currents. First of all, we are going to discuss about the warm current. Now we are going to study about warm current. The currents which flow from equator to polar areas. Equator is here in the center of the earth. The currents which flow from equator to polar areas. Like this, these arrows shows about the movement of the current from equator towards polar areas. So this is called warm current. Next one, we are going to study about the example of the cool current. Gulf Stream is here. Warm current increase the temperature of the coastal areas because we are going to study about the warm current. It's mean from where warm currents are moving, they increase the temperature. For example, Gulf Stream 
as shown over here. Gulf Stream along the eastern coast of North America in Atlantic Ocean is a warm current because it is also located near the coast of North America. This is the example of Gulf Stream. Next, we are going to study about the cold current. Again, you can see through this map. The first of all, we are going to study about the what is cold current. The currents which flow from polar. Have you seen about polar areas are there? From polar areas to equator are called cold current. Have you seen the currents which are moving from polar areas towards equator as shown over here. So this is called cold current. Now we are going to study about the examples of cold currents. Now we are going to study about the cold current. Examples of cold current. Labrador current. This is an example of the cold current. Have you seen over here? It is also near the Canada and the like other areas near the USA also. Another example is current of Kamchatka. This is also another example of cold current. You can see over here. Define hemisphere. Northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere. Any circle drawn around the earth divides it into two equal halves called hemisphere. Two hemispheres are shown over here. Northern hemisphere, southern hemispheres. The equator or line of zero degree latitudes divides the earth into northern hemisphere and southern hemispheres. Current move clockwise in the northern hemisphere and anti-clockwise in the southern hemisphere. Identify this. Think about this situation. You can see in, during the winter season. So this is fog. What is fog? Fog is a Visible, consisting of tiny water droplets or ice crystals suspending in the air at or near the earth's surface, as shown here. So where warm current meet cold current, fog is produced, which is harmful for the sailing ships. So now is it clear? When the warm current meets with cold current, then we can say fog is produced. So, when in winter season, this type of situation is created. Next one is drift. A new term we are going to study now. Drift. Drift, a large current forming by the joining of the two currents is called drift. In simple words, when a large current is formed by joining the two currents, so then we can say this is drift. 
Now we are going to study about the causes of current circulation. There are several causes of ocean currents, but today we are going to study about three main causes of ocean circulation. Number one, permanent winds. Number two, temperature of the ocean water. Number three, salinity of ocean water. Then we are going to discuss in detail one by one. The first one we are going to study about number one, permanent winds. The most important cause of current circulation are winds. It shows wind is an important agent for the movement of water in the ocean. Wind forces the ocean water to circulate in their general direction. For example, trade winds blow from east to west, while western winds blow from west to east. So the currents move eastwards under the trade winds and vice versa under western winds. We are going to study about the second cause of ocean circulation. Number two, temperature of the ocean water. Temperature difference is another cause of current circulation. Warmer water of equatorial regions move upward while colder water of polar regions sinks downwards because warm water is lighter as compared to cold water. Cold water is more denser so that's why it sinks downwards due to greater density. Next we are going to discuss about the third reason of ocean circulation, salinity of ocean waters. Salinity variations also causes the ocean water to circulate. Now question is what is salinity? Salinity is the saltness or amount of salt dissolved in a body of water called saline water. Water of inland seas is more saline than the water of open seas and oceans. So more saline water due to its greater density sinks downwards. While less saline water moves upwards because it is less denser, these variations of salinity causes water circulation. Now it's a time for your assessment. Now we are going to study about the chapter number three oceans and seas, ocean current, causes of ocean current. Number one, a large current forming by the joining of two current is called. Four options are given, you have to choose one. A, fog, B, wave, C, wind, D, drift. So find out the correct answer. So correct answer is drift. Number two, the most important cause of current circulation are 
Find out the answer of given four options. A. Winds. B. Sun. C. Moon. D. Trade. So which is the correct answer? A. Winds. Number 3. Gulf Stream is Cold Crunch B. Warm Crunch C. Wave D. Tides So, correct answer is Warm Crunch as we have already uh, studied about the Warm Crunch we have already done Gulf Stream is a Warm Crunch Number 4. The crunch which flow from polar to equator areas are called A. Warm crunch B. Cold crunch C. Winds D. Waves So, the crunch which flow from polar to equator areas It means that polar areas are also considered as cold places so obviously this is the answer of this MCQs B cold crunch number five what is produced when warm crunchs meet cold crunchs what happened over here when these two types of crunchs meet together a fog B. Drift C. Sun D. Moon So which is the correct answer? Fog A. Fog Now it's the time for your home assignment You have to do on your notebooks Chapter 3 Oceans and Seas Topic Ocean Currents Causes of Ocean Current Read book page 27 Write and learn the answers of the following short and long questions Write short answers Question number 1 What is meant by Ocean Current? Question number 2 Define warm current and give its example. Question number three, what is fog? Question number four, define cold current and give its example. Question number five, what is drift? Long question. Write down the causes of circulation of ocean current. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.